Do you want your toms to sound like this? In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you my methods on how I tune my toms, how I approach those tunings, the specific settings on my tune bot. I have a 12 inch Maple PDP CX series tom, and then I have a 16 inch DW Maple Shell Performance series. It's 16 by 16. And I like to tune my toms, like I want them to sound like cannons. So when I'm playing them, I want them to go do, 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 do. I know that sounds funny, but that's literally the sound I hear in my head when I'm trying to dial in toms wherever I am, whether it be someone else's kit or my own at my house. Um, that's what I try to emulate each time I'm trying to tune toms. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below for the specific heads I use, the tune bot, even a drum key that I like to use as a reference, and go check those out. They'll all be in the description below. When it comes to tuning my toms, I only really need two things, a drum key and a tune bot. I use this tune bot anytime I'm tuning my drums, whether it be my toms, my snare drum, or my bass drum, because I really wanna get the same sound each time. And when I'm experimenting, right, I can you know go between different settings. But for me, I try to tune my toms, my snare, and my bass as fast as I can, so I'm not wasting time when I'm trying to dial things in and I can spend more time on you know, fine tuning it. Okay, do I like this tone? Do I like a lower tone? And so on and so forth. I've experimented a ton with my maple shells at home, and these settings, I believe, are the best for the style that I like to record with, also that I like to play live with. So I'd really encourage you to check these settings out, get your tune bot ready, get your drum key ready, and let's get to tuning. Something that I would recommend you getting, if you already have the TuneBot, you can download an app that's free. It's on the App Store, uh, both with Google Play and with the App Store and Apple. You can download, it's called TuneBot, literally the same name as the actual item that I have right here, but it's for your phone. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Once you have the TuneBot app downloaded, we're gonna select the app and the phone. And then on their main menu, you're gonna select Single Tom Calculator. What I like to use on my 12 inch rack tom is an A2. So select A and then for your octave, click two. Then for your resonance, let's slide this up just a little bit. I don't want a lot of resonance on my 12 inch tom. My shells are maple, so they sing naturally on their own. And I like my bottom head to be higher than my top head when it comes to that. So let's click calculate once we have those settings. And as you can see for our top lug, we're gonna be going for 165. For our bottom lug, we'll use 217. Moving on to our floor tom, we'll use the single tom calculator again. This time we're going to select the first octave, but we're gonna still choose the note A. So basically at the end of the day, we'll have a 12 inch tom that's an A2 and a 16 inch floor tom that's an A1. Now for our resonance on our floor tom, what I like to do is I like to give it maximum resonance. So we're gonna tune the top and bottom, as you can see here, to the same frequency for each head. So it'll be 95 hertz on the top lugs and 95 hertz on the bottom lugs. One quick mention that I need to say is you can actually save these settings on your phone. So you can click save. You can select which set of tunings you wanna save it to. And then you can specifically select your 16 inch tom, you can press save. And once that's saved, you can go to previously saved tunings here. Then you can say view the set. And look, we have our settings from earlier so you never forget uh, this specific set of settings when you're tuning your drums and it just takes you way less time to tune them. So on the bottom head, we have a Remo Ambassador Clear for our Rezo head for our 12 inch tom. So we'll get started. Let's check where all these pitches are quick. So all about 186, but we need this to be up by 217. So 217 is our, our bottom goal for our Rezo head on our 12 inch. So I'm gonna give these a quarter turn each. See where we are. So 
sounding good. We're almost there. Um, there was a couple of lugs that were a little bit lower, so we'll tune those up. That's great. That's right where we want to be. Let's flip this over to the top head and I'll show you what head I'm using on the batter side and I'll show you the settings for that. Okay, so on the batter head for our 12 inch Tom, we're using a vintage Emperor coated by Remill. This is such a great head if you hit hard like I do. I highly recommend it. It's got a nice, warm, more controlled sound, but it still gives you plenty of resonance to really make your Tom shine. So let's see where we are, we're at. So our goal for uh, the top batter side is 165. So let's see where we are. So right around 146. So let's use the same method. When you're bringing up, you know, a head, I like to go a quarter turn at a time. Toms are a lot more sensitive when you're tuning them than a snare drum is. So just be mindful when you're tuning. Okay, so we're about 155. So let's tune this up just a little bit more. And for, we're going for 165. So we're basically there. Wonderful, we got our batter head tuned and our rezo head tuned. We're good to go. Let's move on to our floor tom. I'll show you those settings uh, I showed you earlier, but I'll remind you again which ones we're gonna use. Now we have our floor tom. This specific floor tom is a DW Maple Performance Series, 16 by 16. The head we're using on the bottom floor tom is a simple basic stock head that DW gave me a while back. I still need to change this head. It's still working for me, but it could definitely use a little bit of love. So I plan on replacing this soon, but pretty sure this is a, like another typical Remo Ambassador, which sounds phenomenal. Uh, we highly recommend it for using on your floor tom rezos. So let's see where this specific rezo is at. We're at 70 hertz. Let's tune this up quite a bit. We're gonna go for 95 hertz, both on the bottom head and on the top head for this floor tone. Beautiful. So we are essentially there, believe it or not. Just on a couple of turns, we're already up to 95 hertz. Uh, let's flip it over, we'll tune the top head. Same hertz on the top head. Remember, we're going for maximum resonance on our floor toms because we can control that resonance with moon gels, gaff tape, what have you. For our batter head on our 16 inch floor tom, I've got a Remo Vintage Emperor coated. I'm using the same head I have on my 12 inch tom. Man, these heads are my absolute favorite. They're super durable, they last me a long time. Okay, so let's check where this specific batter head's at. About 72, so let's tune that up considerably. All right, we're there, we're at 95 hertz on the top. What I'll do is I'll put just one moon gel on the top 
And I'll just put the moon gel. I like to put it sometimes over the logo. I'll show you the results of what they sound like with my film camera. That way you get just a raw sound. There's no plugins, there's no mics. It's literally the natural sound of these drums. And then we can see what you guys think of it. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the sound. Hey, if you're wanting to hear more examples of what these toms sound like live, I just recorded a video over here that you can go check out. Please go listen and tell me what you think.